Hey guys, we have an easy one uh, today, and it's hyperspeech. It adds a lot to the system and not a whole lot to uh, modify, so here we go. <laughs> First step, uh, as always, we're going to look at hi uh, Hyperspin's form, and we're going to go to the download section. I'll put the description or the uh, URL in the description below. And what you're going to do is uh, you're just going to download this file. I will say this file that's uh, posted here uh, works great with the standard uh, default Hyperspin setup, but if you are aiming to get the nested wheel setup like I've got, You'll need uh, an updated version, and I don't believe it's actually been released. Um, long story short, I worked with Boogeyman, uh, that's the guy that uh, made the app, and uh, there was an issue with this original file with the nested setup. Basically, Hyperspeech would basically complain that uh, you know the, the, the wheel has closed uh, every time that you would actually end up going into a new granular level of that nested wheel. So if you selected arcades to find all the arcade systems, that transition between our, you know, the arcade nested, the highest level, uh, moving to the, the actual wheels themselves, that transition, it would say that hyperspin was lost, but it would come right back. And that was annoying, at least for me. So I worked with Boogeyman. He made some edits uh, to his source code and uh, he sent me the app so yeah so i'll include the uh, edit uh, in the mega site and uh, yeah so that's really all there is to it here so once you've downloaded the application uh, you're gonna put the uh, hyper speech folder in the root of hyperspin and once you open that you're gonna notice uh, these files here I've got a couple backup folders here. Uh, actually have the uh, source codes actually provided in the download, but I kind of figure out how to make the edit to do what I was trying to do. So anyhow, uh, what we're gonna do is, the only thing that we really care about is this uh, hyperspeech. It's gotta be uh, spelled this way, the capitalization, and the LED linky.exe file. This basically was just renamed. All the instructions are in this README. It's uh, very self-explanatory. There's not much to do here, uh, but I'll include all these files here. And uh, since we're almost at 100 subscribers, I'm gonna include this uh, hyperspeech INI uh, file here. And this is uh, totally custom made. You know, I, I piggybacked what was uh, default and I added uh, the systems that you know I was working on throughout. So it's got a good descriptions of everything, and uh, yeah, you'll, you'll have it uh, ready for your awesome system. So I'm gonna just talk through this hyperspeech INI real quick on what it's all about. Uh, this first section up at the top. Uh, what you're gonna want to do is you're going to uh, edit the paths uh, like always. You're gonna find in Rocket Launcher, uh, you should have a history uh, dat file and you'll just point it to that. And you can modify a number of these uh, uh, settings here. Uh, what I found uh, you know, convenient or uh, not as noisy, uh, the bio delay, give it uh, 10,000 milliseconds, uh, just kind of gives it some time to you know look at the theme. Uh, you guys saw in my prior video, the showcase of the main menu uh, so you can kind of give a, a feel of how soon that hyperspeech actually shows up. Uh, this uh, F11 and F12, if you want to hear, uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, the computer speak to you uh, more quickly, you can push F11 to have her talk and you can push uh, F12 to hear the description of uh, whatever it is that she's talking to you about. So uh, it will display the 
game name and then it'll display the game description when you press those or you just wait and she'll do that automatically. Um, so we've also got main bio enabled. So this is when you want a game description to be uh, spoken and everything else is pretty well self-explanatory here. The volume, uh, delays. Yeah, so below that, there's the game start. So this is when you start a game. She'll say one of these random uh, you know, things. Again, you can make, it, make her say whatever you want. Uh, same with game end. When you close a game, she'll say one of these. And then when you are uh, spinning through a wheel, she'll say any of these phrases here. When you select a game, uh, you know, or select a wheel, I should say, she'll say one of these. And uh, the main menu, so when you first start up a system, she'll, I, I only have three phrases because I, you know, I wanted some sort of uh, consistency, I guess, or familiarity. So after that random intro that starts the game up, uh, she'll say one of these. Uh, and yeah, it's all self-explanatory. So the, the system returns, hyper search, uh, bios. So this is where the customization uh, happens here. So under each one of these uh, brackets, it describes the system uh, that it's uh, going to speak. So when you pull up hyperspin and you go to Atari 2600, she'll say Atari 2600. And then uh, 10,000 milliseconds later, she'll say all of this. So it's got every system that I've got on here. And uh, yeah, even the nested wheels that you see here. Uh, I didn't want her speaking too much about that just because the uh, themes uh, spoke for themselves, which you saw in the prior showcase. That is it, guys. You've got the hyper speech INI. You're going to edit that. And uh, just be sure that your uh, startup script, uh, remember our, my prior video, uh, we talked about setting that up, that startup script uh, will start every time you start uh, hyperspin. Man, I'm saying startup a lot. Um, but if that's in there, it, uh, if the exe is in that startup script, um, this will uh, launch, you know, launch without a hitch. So that's it, guys. Uh, just as a quick reminder, I'll pull this uh, startup script up show you where I put it and I go to the multiple programs spin. so this is the startup script uh, just so you don't have to go through uh, that whole startup uh, video basically you're gonna stick the startup section you're gonna have uh, hyper uh, speech in here and I'm sure it's uh, in here somewhere So there it is, hyper speech. It's the 15th uh, item there. And that's all she wrote. So when you pull this up, here I'll demonstrate this real quickly, uh, what this is doing. So if I push, uh, this is uh, the main wheel. I push Area 51, F11. copyright 1995 Atari Games Corp. This game takes the player through several sections of the facility, including a warehouse and underground tunnels. The player is tasked, along with fellow star members, to penetrate Area 51 and activate the nuclear self-destruct sequence. The player must kill all of the genetically altered soldiers and aliens she'll, without she'll harming any second. allied star team. There we go. And just switch the wheel and she'll, she'll be quiet, silence, uh, computer. So, that's it. Um, you know, as you guys are building your system, I'd love to hear, uh, you know, your struggles or your Good to have you back, successes. Retro Gamer. See up, up, down, down, left, right, left. I'm helping you. Um, so, look forward to hearing from you guys. And uh, Choose uh, from a list of all uh, systems supported regardless of category. Bye, guys. Game on.